Original Tommy's World Famous Hamburgers is a fast food hamburger restaurant chain in Southern California that opened in 1946. Thank you for your suggestions. It's a snap to find that one of a kind place. Tommy's. Oh, yeah. Chili burgers and fries drive you out of your mind. Taste Tommy's. Mm -hmm. When you're at the shack, you got it made 24 hours a day. The one and only Tommy's, yeah. The one and only Tommy's. Come on, people. The one and only Tommy's. All burgers now available as quarter pounders. The original location was opened on May 15, 1946 by Tom Colex on the northeast corner of Beverly and Rampart Boulevards, west of downtown Los Angeles. Colex came to Southern California in 1928. During World War II, he was a shipyard welder. Afterwards, he opened a hot dog stand at the intersection of Florence Avenue and Main Street. He lost his lease there, but through a newspaper ad, found another stand near downtown Los Angeles, and in May 1946, opened the first original Tommy's at Beverly and Rampart Boulevards. The appeal of meat, cheese, onions, pickles, tomatoes, beans, and buns grew modestly at first, but within a few years, dozens of customers were circling the block of this ramshackle red and white frame building waiting for what ranks among the world's messiest foods. Original Tommy's provides plenty of napkins and paper towels. The stand, which still exists today, sold hamburgers and hot dogs topped with chili. According to their website, it took some time before the public discovered his small stand. However, in the many long hours of work and dedication toward quality and fast service finally paid off. By the mid-1950s, the little stand gained a reputation like none other for the appetites of Los Angeles burger lovers. During the 1960s, the entire lot at the intersection was purchased. Soon after, the northwest corner was acquired for expanded parking and storage of goods. Not long after that, a second service counter occupying the building at the perimeter of the northeast lot was set up. Original Tommy's prides itself on their ingredients, which are of the highest quality, including 100% beef patties and hot dogs, double thick slices of cheese, fresh chopped onions, hand sliced beefsteak tomatoes, pickles and mustard. All items are prepared to order and extra portions of chili, mustard, onion or tomato are offered at no extra charge. Portions are extremely generous. Much like another Southern California fixture, In-N-Out Burgers, Original Tommy's features a limited menu consisting of high-quality, low-priced foods. The entrees served include hamburgers, hot dogs, tamales, french fries, chili fries, and a breakfast menu including an egg sausage sandwich and a breakfast burrito. The limited menu allows for the speed of service. Customers have to expect long lines at Tommy's, but the lines tend to move pretty quickly. Eventually, demand outstrips supply at the single location, and Colex opened stands beginning in 1971 with a new location in Eagle Rock. During the decade, five new Tommy's restaurants were opened. Though not as popular as the original, each became very successful in their own right. The company would expand to over 34 locations by 2022 with over 5,000 employees in locations in California and Nevada. With their success over the years, original Tommy's have had problems with copycats. Many profit-hungry imitators have copied key elements of the operation, such as sign and the menu, in attempts to cash in on the fame of the original. This has resulted in some customer confusion and has been subject to many legal battles. Today, customers are instructed to look for the shack on the Tommy's logo. 
According to the analysis conducted by the Los Angeles Times, there are over 67 restaurants in and around Los Angeles County that appear to be Tommy's knockoffs. These places have few things in common. They sell chili burgers and have names featuring a name derived with Thomas, or ones that sound extremely similar like Tams or Tommy's. Some deploy signage or other visuals that are reminiscent of the red and white color scheme and script letters used by Tommy's. Bob Auerbach, a stepson of the late Tommy's founder, Tom Colex, and the chain's regional supervisor, said the family business has made a choice not to aggressively pursue legal action against imitators, partly because such an effort would be a distraction. He said it's a form of flattery and that pretenders have opened across the region. Auerbach believes that would-be copycats are born out of frustration and envy because Tommy's does not offer franchising opportunities. He said the spat of competitors hasn't hurt business, but conceded he has fielded phone calls from customers complaining about a poor experience at an eatery mistaken for Tommy's. Tommy's is arguably the most famous fast food burger chain to come out of the Southland. This has a few operations that long ago went national. McDonald's, In-N-Out Burger, Carl's Jr., and Fat Burger. Sadly, in 1992, founder Tommy Kulax died at the age of 73 of cancer. At the time, there were 17 Tommy stands that dotted Southern California. Today, his legacy lives on. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.